Good evening, my dear. I'm so sorry to interrupt your viewing, but I couldn't help but notice your striking outfit. The shape and palette seem so tuned to your natural features that I simply refuse to believe you purchased this ready-made from some run-of-the-mill boutique. Who, may I ask, is the designer? <laughs> Yourself. Incredible. So it seems you're as talented as you are dazzling. And what a spectacle you've produced. It takes a great deal of motivation for me to approach strangers unprovoked. However, I simply could not contain my amazement. Would you be so kind as to enlighten me on the motive behind your attendance to the gallery tonight? Ah, a lover of art, you say? I'd already gathered that much from your fashionable appearance. <laughs> mm. I see that you've become acquainted with my most recent work. Oh, yes. <laughs> the one you've been gazing at for the past five minutes. Would you be surprised if I told you that the model held that pose for 18 hours straight? You laugh as though I've just told a joke, but I can assure you that, as baffling as it may seem, it is not in fact a lie. Hmm, incredible, isn't it? The limits of the human body are not as unyielding as they may seem. Hmm. Say, I'd love to continue this conversation, however, information this exclusive should be kept away from prying ears. Why not join me in my studio? Yes, it's just back here. Oh, no need to be bashful. This is an opportunity I rarely grant, and if my monotonous tangents don't entice you, then perhaps a delicious glass of wine will. Mm, splendid. <laughs> As I was saying, it often comes as a shock to people that my paintings are all live depictions of real models. The poses I arrange are not only an expression of my inner desires to accentuate the innate beauty of the human body, but additionally instill a lasting impression on the observer. By shocking the masses, one can effortlessly plant seeds of influence on an astonishing scale. No need to be so tense, my love. Am I being too forward? No. I see. In that case, I'm sure you can handle this proposition. How would you like to model for me this evening? Oh, don't let the extravagance of the poses scare you. I'll help you get there. Don't look so afraid. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Are you really going to back out before you've even tried it? <laughs> hmm. Stubborn. Though, might I say, your resistance will prove to be quite futile. I'm sure you're already experiencing the effects of the sedative I've slipped into your glass. <laughs> hush, hush. Just give in to the sensation. Rest, darling. We will reconvene once you've awakened. By then, perhaps you will be more open to my gestures of generosity. Awake so soon? Perfect timing. I've just finished fastening your extremities to the apparatus. Shh, 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 shh. Poor thing. I know it hurts. I wish I could do something about it, but I enjoy watching your pain too much. <laughs> Not to spoil the fun, but I 
can assure you, it only gets worse from here. What a fun specimen you are. I think you're my new favorite. <laughs> All the others give up so quickly. My fame has made my admirers too cooperative. But you are different. You have a fire in your eyes. Let's see how long it takes me to snuff. <sighs> Enough talk. A parked car never leaves the lot. Let's start with your spine. Do you reckon we can get the back of your head to meet your toes? <laughs> and remember, the more you scream, the slower I go. Ready? <laughs> I thought not. Unfortunate for you. <laughs> oh, darling, you're doing so good for me. Impressive. How does that feel? <laughs> Never mind. Save your breath. The perspiration on your forehead tells me everything I need to know. Next order of business... Your hair. As beautiful as it is, in this form it simply won't do. I think it would be dazzling if we tied it around your ankles. <laughs> you flinched. You want me to stop? <laughs> You're so funny, my doll. We've only just begun. Now. Stand still. Oh, wait. You already are. <laughs> now, your lovely arms. Let's see how far I can stretch them. Oh, doll, oh, that must hurt so much. Hmm. Still glaring at me, I see. Hmm. Glare as much as you like, love. See how far it gets you. There you go. Hmm, we're almost there. It's just missing one teeny little detail. Smile for me, darling. Hmm, don't make me ask twice. <sighs> Fine. I have a tool for that anyways. <sighs> oh, now that I bring that up, you decide to grin? You should have obeyed me the first time, doll. You've already made me go through all the hassle of retrieving my tool, and now you expect me to show mercy? Absolutely not. Now, open wide. <laughs> Does that hurt? Get used to it, darling. You're going to be stuck like this. I'll prepare my materials now. But, might I remind you that struggling is pointless. Hmm. You must be wondering how I've sustained such a torturous practice all these years. How I've seemingly eluded the law and continued to create my art without consequence? Hmm. Allow me to enlighten you. Seven years ago, I was a nobody. Working two jobs as a barista and a bartender, every morning I'd wake up in my 200-square-foot apartment at the crack of dawn and ride my bike my first job at the coffee shop. I'd get off in the late afternoon, eat dinner, then head to my second job at the bar. In the spare hours I had, I would paint for the local gallery, hoping one day I'd hit it big. But 
As much as I tried, my work lacked passion, as at that time I was painting for fame, not pleasure. I had lived this monotony every day since I had graduated art school. Paying off my debt, my fantasies laying dormant until one fateful night on my way home from the bar. The night my career blossomed. <laughs> it had been a painfully dull shift that evening, and I was eager to get home. I took a shortcut down a dark one-lane back road. Riding in the direction of traffic. It was raining that night, and I remember shivering in the frigid downpour while I cursed myself for not bringing a heavier coat. I was about a mile away from my apartment when the glow of headlights came into view. I remember instinctively merging off to the side, expecting a car to zoom by, but I quickly realized that the vehicle was stationary. I pedaled faster, trying to get a better look at the scene. The car was totaled, folded against a tree. My hand shot for my cell phone to call the authorities, but as soon as I saw what was laying in the road, I froze. The body of a young woman lay mangled on the asphalt, her extremities bent unnaturally bones shattered. I stared for a moment, my heart pounding in my ears. Was she alive? I took a step closer, my gaze fixated on her soft face, her hair obscuring her features. I called to her, but didn't hear a response. I took another step closer, reaching my hand out when suddenly her eyes shot open. I remember the panicked look in her eyes as her breathing picked up. I flinched. She focused her eyes on me, begging for help. But I didn't help her. Something deep inside of me began to stir. A hot wave of adrenaline-laden pleasure coursed through my body. I hastily ducked through my bag, forgetting about the rain and reaching for my sketchbook. I scribbled down as much as I could manage, reveling in her strained cries. As I completed the depiction, her breathing became shallow. I watched in disappointment as the life slipped out of her. She was dead. I had enjoyed her struggle. But as quickly as that euphoric sensation had come, it was over. I carefully packed my things and left her body, letting the rain wash away my footprints. When I arrived at my apartment, I finalized my work in paint, masking the true scene with an angelic background. I submitted my work to the gallery, and in the following weeks, I was approached by critics, praising me, asking me when my next piece would be done, <laughs> to please my audience as well as my inner desires. I constructed this apparatus, garnering volunteers who were desperate for fame and attention. My models have sworn their secrecy to me as will you, once I have made your mind mine. After tonight, though, I believe the services of my other dolls will no longer be required. I've had my eye on you for a while, patiently orchestrating your kidnapping. <laughs> There's something about you specifically that I can't seem to shake. Is it your faint resemblance to the girl I watched die in the street? The way you look at my art with such passion? Mm, I can't say. But what I do know 
is that you are mine now, and you will do as I command. <laughs> Don't fret, my dear. I'll make sure to take excellent care of you when I'm not using you for my art. You deserve to be pampered after going through all of this, don't you think? <laughs> we'll reassess once my work is done. For now, try to relax. A little pain will do you good. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> on the finishing touches now, darling. Stay patient. It's been a few hours now, and you're doing oh so well. <laughs> Here we are. All right. Time to release you. Mm. Good job, my darling. It took a little coaxing, but... You were splendid. This piece is simply breathtaking. Mm. Seeing as you're in no state to move, allow me to help you to your bed. Mm. I'm sure you're exhausted. Everything is okay now. Tomorrow, we shall reconvene and discuss our partnership moving forward. For now, I have some important business I must attend to. And as much as I'd like to trust you on your own, the door will remain barred tonight. <laughs> 